ready to customize your show it website template and add your colors and fonts to match your brand well you're in luck because this video is for you i'm melissa of superhero design and i help ambitious women launch bold brands online let's get to the video In this example, I'm using Camilla Co. Studio, my show it website template. However, you can use any show it website and follow this tutorial. So, as you can see, I'm in the editor in the home page. So, I want to be under the site tab on the left here, and I'm going to click on Design Settings. And here is the color palette that is set for this template. And also, if you click on the fonts tab, you can see that you have some active fonts over here and you can add some new fonts. So under site style, if I wanted to change any of these colors, I would simply click on the swatch and type in my color code here, or you can also kind of drag things around. The way that this template is set up is it goes from light to dark, right to left, and then you have a couple accent colors here. Three and four are accent colors always. So Let's say you want your accent color to be uh, red. Let's just go with red. Let's go here, make that bright red. I'm going to click OK. And then, as you can see, it kind of changed these titles. So I'm going to want to change that color to black. This color, let's go ahead and just make like a gray. Keep in mind you want to keep the same kind of um, hue, not hue, but the shade because it does go from light to dark in the template. So it's just going to save you some time if you follow that instruction. Um, the color is, let's make this black again. And this is the section where you would change your type styles, all the fonts in your website. So right now this headline is set to Noto Serif Display. And then on the left, if you click on these three dots as well, you can see it's the same font. It's just the mobile size. So you're going to want the mobile size to be smaller, obviously, because it's going to be on a phone. So if I want to select a different font, I would just click this drop down here. And these are all the fonts that are preloaded into this template. Um, all of these are free except for the ones that are specified as licensed fonts when you purchase the template. So just keep that in mind. So I'm just going to go ahead and select Butler Light, which is a free font, and I like that better. And then let's just say I want it to be uppercase. So, okay, so we've got it uppercase now. And then same with the heading down here. Let's make that Adorn Story, which is my script font. And that looks a little small, so let's just go with 55 as size. And as you can see, I've changed that. This one, I'm going to keep the same, but I'm going to make it black. And then save on the left. So on the mobile, you're going to want to match it as close as you can, but adjusting for size as well. So that one was 55. Let's go with 35. And then here, I'm going to make it black. All right, cool. So I've got my colors set. And like I said, you can change these colors. However, um, you want to match your brand colors. I'm just going to go ahead and just make these more of a gray color and less warm. Let's just go in the cooler tones. I think those actually look kind of nice together, so I'm going to click Save. So, as you can see, a bunch of colors have now shifted in my template, so I'm going to want to go through and adjust accordingly. So, probably don't want that background to be red, so I'm going to make it charcoal. Uh, maybe I want this button to be red, so I'm going to click on it and just kind of go through and make this text style red and then move this out of the way so I can reach what's behind it. Just say I want that whole button to be red and then actually I'll make that white then. Okay, so I have my accent button there and then again with the mobile site you're going to want to do the same thing. So. That is how you adjust your colors and fonts in your Show It template. 